no real difference to any of the other ones I've ever taken, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. <laughs> no, most definitely not. It's just, uh, oh, look, it's, I've never been a stats person, so, you know, it's nice to have the numbers, but, like, I've had a lot better moments in my cricketing career. Winning games um, for my country has always been objective number one. So, yeah, job's not over, so, yeah. But it's cool. It's nice to have 400. <laughs> Yeah, look, it was a good day for us. You know, we always knew that uh, once we get them to about six down, it uh, should have gone proved that when you get them to about six down, their lower water batters don't tend to like hanging around. So if we can get six wickets, we can, we can wrap it up quite quickly. It's not wrapped up yet, but that was the initial goal. And, you know, throughout the day, we just didn't let them get away with the game on what is quite difficult conditions to both bat and bowl, actually, because those balls get pretty soft. And the economy rate just never got higher than, you know, like 2.8 around there the, the entire game. You know, we'd push it down to like 2.5, 2.3 somewhere there, and then it would bump up to maybe 3, and then we'd bring it back down to, you know, just around there by 2.8 runs per over. So, you know, the game just never got away from us, um, and they weren't able to, like, take the initiative and take the game forward. We were always managing to get sneaky little wickets here and there um, on what is probably really difficult conditions to actually bat and bowl, so kind of evens out. I just want to play every game. I want to bowl again tomorrow. Um, I want to bowl again the next time South Africa pick me, so there's no, I've got no targets, you know, anything can happen, <laughs> so I don't set targets, you know, I would have been very happy if I'd just taken one wicket in my international career. I'd, privileged enough to play for South Africa and take wickets for South Africa or take a wicket for South Africa and I managed to get 400. That's, uh, I never thought that that would happen ever in my life. So I just want to bowl, man. Like I've, I've said it many times before, I kind of sound like a broken record. Like I just repeat myself, but I just love bowling, you know, just give me the ball and if I'm fit and I'm strong, I will bowl all day. So there's no, no targets. There's not like I want to take 500 or I want to play 100 tests or anything like that. I just, just want to bowl. No worries with my hammies, touch wood, like there's nothing wrong. Like I feel pretty good right now, even after bowling all day and spending time in the sun. Um, it's good flow and I said before I, before I came here, like I spoke to you and I just said that uh, sometimes if you don't have that passion and you don't have that love for the game, things like kind of don't go your way and I love, I love what I'm doing right now. Even if it's in 40 degree heat and the ball is staying ankle high and it's not bouncing and there's no seam and it's very slow, like Shit, I love it. Like, you know, I'd rather be here than anywhere else right now, you know. And there was a period just after the IPL where I actually didn't want to, like, have a ball in my hand, you know. And uh, I just needed, like, maybe two or three weeks just to, maybe even longer, four weeks, just to get that love back again. And, like, like when you've got it, you, you just, you don't want to let it go. And I just love being here. I might go wicketless in the second innings, who knows. But, like, I'm still going to be enjoying it. Like, just love being on the field right now.